Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today, we have an interesting one for you. Logica against Marikar. We're on Forest uh, Camelot, I believe, or Forest of Camelot. Um, you may remember these two players faced against each other on this particular map a number of weeks ago on this channel. Well, this is actually the reverse of that matchup. So we saw infantry against stealth. Now we're going to see stealth against infantry. They're just going to swap over with the armies. Up in the top right here, we have Logica now with the green China infantry. Previously, he played in the south spot with the GLA, but that today is Marikar down in the bottom left. He is, I believe, a regular GLA. I thought it was stealth, but he's regular GLA. But uh, yeah, I was going to do these replays both together at the same time, but I thought, actually, you know what? It's better if we just space it out, give this map a uh, another viewing, but um, a few weeks later, we have the E for Xcal because this map was uh, at least the design or the name was thought of by Xcal, but the actual... Um, map itself was created by a guy called TK Leo. I did speak to him actually once he saw my replay of Remember That Secret Dozer. <laughs> and there is another one, by the way. I think there's one like there. And I think, yeah, there's some there as well. Now, that was not like intended for design, I believe. The, um, the dozer to come out from the trees and start repairing a dozer. I'd never seen that before. And I thought it might have been an intentional design, but apparently it is not. What do we have there? Excalibur, that's uh, actually Excal's full name. I heard him say that actually the only reason he's called Excal is because he his full name, actually OOE Clan Excal, wouldn't actually fit <laughs> in Zero, so he shortened it to Excal. Well, technical over here straight away from Marika. He's got a decent position here in the middle, and he's going for an early oil cap, which is something we see him go for quite often. Looks like the truck rush there didn't achieve too much. It looks like it's gone down here, and the workers um, have all pretty much been saved. Got another rebel going over to the right-hand side. I think there's another oil down the bottom here. And this... Uh, Barracks position for Logica looking like it's going to go down rather quick. I did think when I first saw this matchup that Gillet has the major advantage. But spoiler alert, in, in the previous one, Marikar did manage to win with the infantry. So I wonder if Logica is also going to be able to do it with the infantry here. It's got a pretty full outpost down here. Takes down a worker, takes down a rebel, denies the tunnel. Flamer here. We're probably going to see that secret dozer in action here. <laughs> here it comes baby <laughs> here it comes <laughs> it's gonna start repairing the oil oh, and there's nothing you can do i think even if you nuke that i don't think there's anything you can do it's kind of crazy really isn't it <laughs> it's kind of crazy that oil's always getting auto repaired logic is having some good success he's kind of contested every channel here middle channel down in the bottom right looks like he's securing that as well so some quite good success. I'm actually surprised Marikar wasn't able to hold that in the middle. It was just a simple flamer that's kind of taken that down. Of course, this uh, outpost is the follow-up, but usually with a couple of tunnels, some quads RPGs, you're able to secure things. But maybe Marikar is not actually valuing the middle all so much because there's one oil there. But here, like you've got supplies and oils and an artillery platform. And over here, you've got two massive supplies. So it's kind of a design like Sand Scorpion, but map obviously rotated loads of different colors. The bridge is obviously a lot larger. The middle, quite large there as well. But Logica is definitely pushing Marikar back here, takes down, or well, denies the tunnel, kills a worker there. Logica going to expand to another supply here, and he's going for some oils of his own. He does have the capture upgrade. Sneaky quad cannon from Marikar. Denies the oil cap. It's a little bit annoying there. I think, actually, Marikar, could he put some, like, RPGs or a quad on RPG here so he could just, like, chip away at the HP when it goes, like, near the cliff? I'm not sure if that's possible. Vet 3 quad, you want to save that, man, because that is powerful. The damage output of a Vet 3 quad is insane. Uh, so both players want a decent amount of cash, really. Middle oil belongs to Marikar. This top supply... Belongs to Marikon. He's going to get another one. Toxin Tractor in the main base here of Logica. I feel like because this harassment's going on and because these two supplies here belong to Marikon, plus that middle oil, I think he's got the advantage there. Down at the bottom right, we've got a prop being built. 
Logica wants to get this artillery platform as well. He's already got this oil. But yeah, I feel like Marikar is ahead. We've got a TNT being prepared. A palace being prepared as well. Only one truck collecting from here for Logica. I think that's a mistake. I think even four trucks could be good there since there's loads of supplies. TNT comes in from Marikar. Does kill the oil. That's nice. That is very nice. Even though that's quite an exposed one anyway, there was still some protection there from Logica, and you can also bring in some reinforcements. You're not aware if there's any air units or anything like that as well. So bringing in a TNT just to get that, get rid of it uh, is good. Will be good if he manages to get in and kill that one as well. And then really, you control a lot of the middle apart from just this supply. But yeah, interesting. He's only just making a second supply now. Outpost goes down. This, this quad's in line formation, though. You don't want to be doing it in line formation. All of this quad here, because it's a beast, probably will just clear up, and it does. Logica back at home. He's got loads of outposts. No subliminal meshing yet, but his props only just recently finished. CC being built now. Another TNT comes in, but there's a lot of minigunners here. And that TNT there does fail. So yeah, I feel like you can't give GLA this area for too long. I think Logica knows that, so he's heading over to this area. But there's quite a lot of RPGs here, so you can imagine that these outposts are going to get broken uh, broken into, and then the, the remaining infantry then will get cleared up. So yeah, remember in the previous game, there was a big fight. They shared these two supplies, if you remember, in the previous. No secret ghost dozer to repair this oil just yet. Back at home is another TNT being prepared by Marikar. It's good uh, thinking that he's still doing TNTs like consistently throughout the throughout the game. Saves his Vet 3 quad once again. Massive engagement here now. And is Logica going to be able to break through? Bit of a wraparound here from the side with the quads. The those have stopped repairing the oil actually. Maybe because it belongs to Marikar now. Logica having some quite good success. This supply here is forced to be sold. I think Marikar could have had a bit of bit of a bigger line of tunnels there he had the cash for it and i think if he had a couple more tunnels he probably would have been able to hold that maybe like a stinger in two tunnels and pop the toxin tractor or maybe some terrorists like fargo i suppose he does have a lot of minigunners here maybe the, maybe the things wouldn't happen oh my god he's literally hit it and uh, like literally <laughs> that gatlin cannon must have only just recently finished logic has got to be kicking himself man that, that's a legendary tnt there oh good launcher that rains down some heavy damage there. And Logic has got to be worrying now, thinking, am I actually going to win this? Because you're getting your Royals TNT like that. And this is good. There was a bit of a weird miss out of that, wasn't it? The infantry now all fragmented, not grouped together. And Marikar's having loads of success here. Here comes another Scud hit. And that's going to hurt again. Ooh, actually bounces off and hits his, uh, hits his quads. Never Scud launched. Well, Scud launcher, not a Scud storm. Uh, never sneaky tunnel. Bit of a weird and awkward position, this, isn't it, for Jilla? Because like, if you built a supply there, a flamer could shut it down from there. If you built a supply like on this side, a flamer could shut it down. Not to mention all the outposts and stuff. But big attack now coming from Logica. Is he going to be able to break through? I feel like he needs to because there is a Scud up. Oh, being built, rather. There is a Jarman Kel out. I feel like maybe a couple more tunnels here again would be nice. Because this is Logica's only hope, really, if he breaks through here. Because I feel like he's quite far behind. This quad is still alive. Is he going to now pop from here? Ooh, no. He's going to pop from further back. Preserving his quads, not letting him take a bad engagement against these outposts. Ooh, where's the strong quad? I'm going to watch the strong one. But Logica is getting cleared up here. This is a nice wraparound again on the quads. Logica's focused on killing the oil, but I feel like he might need to turn around and fight the quads. Outpost gets broken, and that's a really nice... Uh, Engagement there from Marikar. I wonder if Logic is just going to quit there or not. Because the only thing going for him in the middle really is this extra supply. And he's even getting hit with the trucks there. Carpet and artillery now coming from Logica. But the carpet's probably going to get shut down. This is really... Ooh, the strong quad, man. The strong quad got killed. <laughs> oh, my dream is over. I wanted that quad to survive to the end. It does go down. Logica once again. Headbutt in this middle position. Jean Mankel, though, with a few of these RPGs, is such a strong combination against these outposts. And that's it. Yeah, unfortunate for Logica there. Marikar just played too good. I feel like he focused more on that top left position. He secured that nice and early. 
He, he lost the middle a few times, but he focused heavily on that top left. And even though he didn't win the battle for the bottom right, he did TNT them oils. So he got rid of them, both of them oils. And then he took a two supply lead in that top left position. Whilst Logica only had a one supply down to the bottom right. So that enabled his economies to go through the roof. And then, uh, yeah, just kind of sealed the deal. He didn't, didn't even really have to attack, really. Just TNT them oils and just camp it out. You got the bounty money. Let Logica just headbutt those um, tunnel positions, crack his outpost open, and then just uh, clear up with the, with the German. There was a Scud launch, a Scud storm rather, on the way. Had the market as well. He would have got AP ammo and all that kind of stuff. So that was really uh, decent play there from America. GG. Let me know what you thought of this map once again. I think in a, in a new version of this map, the TK Leo has removed those doses from being able to repair the oil because it is a little bit weird. But you let me know what you think of this map overall. Do you think... Well, give it, give it a rating out of 10 in the comments. Let me see your uh, your rating. But if you want to compare it to like a, an original map, I believe it is quite like Sand Scorpion. But obviously feels a hell of a lot different because it's like rotated... It's wider, there's probably less buildings. It's quite it's it's a bit similar, but it's also quite different, isn't it? So yeah, you let me know what you think. GG. Well played to both players and see you in the next one.